Everybody has a turn back moment. Everybody has a crossroad. You can either decide to continue or to quit. To go forward or to go back. I need you to evaluate yourself and ask yourself the question, how are you wired? When you have a trial or a tribulation, how are you wired? When you hear the word no, does it break you? I'm wired differently. I get excited about no. I love no. I love it. It turns me on. No, Eric. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be stronger when I come back. Don't shun the no. Every no, you take the no and you recycle it. You hold on to it. You embrace every no and you let each no make you callous to no. You get so strong that when you hear no, it turns you on. And for many of you, you have robbed yourself of a full life because you don't want to deal with crises, because they're uncomfortable, and because you're timid and passive, you run from them. There's going to be some scars. The scars going to come. You might as well get blessed by the scars. They're going to come. There's going to be scars. There's going to be defects. There's going to be problems. You running from the blessing. There's going to be scars. This is earth. There's going to be some hiccups. We're going to take some L's. We're going to get hurt. We gonna cry. We all go through it. You think you're the only one? You think you're special? Some of you though, you let your pain pump you. You let your pain make you quit. I'm telling you, do me a favor. Just don't let it break you. If you get past it on the other side of it, it's going to be phenomenal. I don't want you go through this process, but nevertheless, take me through the fire. And there are those of you, you were this close. But you compromised. You let your feelings get the best of you. And you let a little pain stop you from your dream. Girl, you was there. You was running your business. You were there. I didn't quit because people didn't understand. I worked harder when people didn't support me. You better grind because if you don't, you'll be stuck at that adversity for the rest of your life. Whatever it is, you'll be stuck there. Why don't I get something for it? You ain't got to have the best hand in life. You ain't got to start with the two-parent background. You ain't got to start with wealth. You ain't got to start with your parents graduated. It's not the hand that you dealt. It's how you play your hand. When people die or people get sick or something happens in your life, if all you're doing it for is a car and a house, that can stop you. But if you're doing it for your mom, for your siblings, for your family, for your community, nothing can stop you. You cannot be broken. When you have an intrinsic goal, when you're doing it because you value it, when you're doing it because you can, when you're doing it because it represents who you are, when it's internal, nothing can stop you. No mountain, no trial, no tribulation, nothing can stop you when it's deeper than just money and stuff. I can. I, can. I, will. I will. I must. I must. It's going to rain sometimes. I will. I will. You're going to feel discouraged sometimes. I will. I will. No matter what the obstacle, I will. I will. I will. I, will. I, will. I, will. I must. What's that thing that's going to pump you up and get you over that mountain? What's going to pump you up and get you past that disease? What's going to pump you up and get you past bankruptcy? What's going to pump you up and get you to the other doggone side? Despite the circumstance, you can win. Despite the adversity, you can win. I'm trying to tell you, you can win. I'm trying to tell you, I don't care how big the giant is, you can win. I want you to go in confidence that you've never had before. And every giant in your life, slay him. You go back and slay him. Don't kill him, slay him!